bonjour. Okay, so here we are in France, in Paris. People say that you can't get healthy food in Paris. What a crock. Check this out. That's the guy, not on the menu. All raw vegetables, all raw salad. Boom! That's a salad. That is a meal fit for a king. This is the stuff gladiators used to eat. Gladiators, you didn't see the old gladiators back in the day eating meat. So I'm now going to enjoy my meal and I'll catch up with you guys later. So you can see Paris in the background. We're going to be hopping from place to place to place. We haven't got much time, so let's see how, see how much of Paris we can do in three, two, one. Let's go! <laughs> Make sure they're exercising out of the corner. We got a beehive here, getting some fresh honey. We got people who were just like lying down, resting and recovering, doing commandment number ten. And of course, they're out in the sun, enjoying the number sun, uh, enjoying the sun. So, um, what are they doing? They are combining the commandments. Now I'm going to uh, enjoy the sun. Get some nice deep breaths in, but now we found a natural spring. This is awesome. Check this. So I'm now going to, uh, I'm now going to hydrate and give myself some water. Man, real water tastes so damn good. Paris is just getting better and better. Look at this. Look. A little waterfall. We've got a little tropical garden here. Just look at these colours. Awesome. You know what? I need to get connected with nature. Sometimes it's so good to get grounded. Life's all about being grounded. Man, I start to get grounded, I just feel like a pulse of energy flow. I need to move. Stairs, but man, sometimes we just gotta do some different stuff in life, you know what I mean? Okay, so here we got the Iglesia de la Magdalena. Big, big Catholic church. A lot of things people get married here. So there's a lot of love in this place, and sometimes you know what? Sometimes it's good to just go into church, feel the love, ask some good questions about yourself, and just let the answers come through yourself. It's important, man. Spirituality is good. Now, check around here. You've got ob obelisk. It's the obelisk de la Concorde. See the big pointy thing? It came from Egypt. Napoleon brought it back from Egypt. See that point? It's directed. Sometimes you've got to be directed in life. It's important. Man, this day is so cool. I hope you guys are enjoying Paris because we've got some more to go. Let's go and check out another place. Now, check this building out. It's the Opera Garnier. As you can see, they've actually just cleaned the whole building up. Basically, what this is, it's the Opera House in Paris. I've been fortunate enough to do some of the some of the world's best operas in the Royal Opera House, the Carmen, La Boheme, and awesome operas. If you ever get the chance to go and see an opera, go and see the operas. And uh, I actually brought some of the acrobatics to those shows. Man, feeling that vibe again. My body needs to move.
See how awesome this is in Paris. Everywhere you've got these fountains where you just grab water and they're not just like a normal fountain. Look at that, it's a piece of art. See in Paris, they are a binding. Commandment number two. Thou shalt hydrate with clean water. Rock and roll. Okay, so we're now at the biggest museum in Paris, the Louvre. Louis XIV used to live here, the Sun King. And um, as you can see, take a look around. It's quite a small place. And uh, anyway, that's what he thought. He thought, this place is too damn small. So you're never gonna guess what he did. Being a place that was far too small for him, he did what any king would do. And he had a bigger place, so we moved out of this place. Nice! Paris, loving this place. We've got the sun out, the sun is shining. There's that commandment, number seven, thou shalt enjoy the sun. And not only shalt thou shalt enjoy the sun, thou shalt should be like the sun. And what do we mean by that? Look at the sun, it's always giving, always, 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 no matter whether it's day, whether it's night, whether it's happy, whether it's sad, whether the weather's good, whether the weather's bad, the sun is always giving and it never asks for anything back. So here's my challenge for you for today. What can you go out and give someone as a gift for them We you ask for nothing back? Go out, do something good. I'm going to have some more fun in Paris. See you later. And yep, we are still in Paris. Can you believe that? So I'm gonna introduce you now to a very special guest. This is actually the pioneer of Naked Health. This was actually the original Naked Health detective. Check this out. <laughs> Sometimes we get tired. All you got to do is do some breathing exercises, drink some water. Remember, your brain's about 90% water, so keep that hydrated. If you get, if your brain's getting a bit muzzy in the day, it might be that you just need some water to keep yourself hydrated. So, I need waking up. Time for some water. this now, go and get yourself some water because it tastes so damn good! <sighs> Man, I feel myself waking up already! Time to go do something else, let's go see some more Paris! Look at that sun! Whoa! It's awesome! Outside, the one, the only Notre Dame. It took 120 years to build this building. It is the oldest building in the whole of Paris, and I'm sure you guys know it because of who? Quasimodo. So, um, I've seen some awesome places in Paris, and um, it's good to get educated. You know why? Commandment number nine: Thou shalt educate thyself. What happens when you get educated? You become more. You then got what? Got more to give. So go and get educated on some thin. Hmm. Doors. Now that's a healthy lunch. Yeah. <laughs> so even though the moment for health number two is thou shalt hydrate with clean water, just look at some of the amazing things you can do with water. I mean, check that out for the What's cool about it is, this is the sound of it. Oh. <laughs> Not the sound of someone screaming. But if you ever do get to listen to the sound of water, it sounds amazing. So therapeutic. Love the Paris. 
So this is what they call Pont des Arts, the Arts Bridge. And I don't know if you can see anything a bit weird about this bridge, but there's locks everywhere. And uh, I've got a lock. And you may be wondering, what the hell is Skip doing with the lock in his hand? So basically what happens here, what the culture is, or what the tradition is, sorry, is lovers come down here and they basically seal in their lock with a padlock on the bridge. And the bridge is full of thousands of these locks. And thou shalt love and forgive. Love is the most powerful force on the whole planet. And heard an awesome saying the other day, because it's love and forgive, that's the commandment. So forgive everyone all the time for everything if you want serious power, because that way nothing can ever knock you down, ever. So I'm already putting my lock on there. And, and it also combines another commandment, passion. We talk about passion, nothing electrifies the human system like passion. Now, that could be like, as I say, growing tomatoes, building model aeroplanes. But when you get that electric passion in an intimate relationship, then you take your life to a whole nother level. So I'm just clocking this one in there, giving my love to all of you and the whole universe. So let's get it locked in. There we go. I'm sending love to each Yo. Now it's time for you to send love to everyone else. Okay, so here we are at Fontaine Saint Michel. Another iconic landmark in Paris. Pretty awesome, nice fountains. And um, I know some of you think I'm a little bit crazy, but here's my philosophy. Always keep the kid in you. What does that mean? Keep, you always keep the kid in you. What do you start doing? You start looking at life through the eyes of a child. With the energy of little kids. And as we get older, a lot of us part of our energy are depleted and going down and down and down. And so, K-I-D. What does that stand for? Keep the kid in you, but keep improving daily. So what can you do today that's going to improve your life and others around you? Just let do for the music. Sweet as or what? See, people used to fear that guy. But you know why there's no need to fear him anymore? He's armless. <laughs> Alright, now I'm about to joke, but. What the hell? See, can't be walking in nature. This park we're in is actually. This park used to belong to the palace, used to be part of their grounds, but um, now it's back in the people's hands. So the people, you've got kids here playing, people just outside, moving their bodies, having a good time, releasing all the good endorphins so they feel good. And that's what life's all about. Gotta feel good. Oh yeah. Thousands of people who I can see just out enjoying the sun. Sun makes you feel good. Sun's got the best form of vitamin D on the whole planet. Gotta get out and enjoy the sun. There'd be no life on this planet if it weren't for the sun. Just loving the sun. Loving the sun. Typical game in France, bowls. Boom! See? Keep it outside, just having fun. See how much fun kids get to have? They're moving their bodies. They're climbing, they're running, they're jumping. we got to do the same as an adult, so... Uh, maybe I'll go and find a tree to climb. It's like, like a monkey. <laughs> See, some people have got it perfect. Thou shalt educate thyself, i.e. read a book or something, then shalt rest and recover. Check this out. That's how you do it.
Okay, so this crazy little building is Bourbon, and it is the third most visited place in Paris after the Louvre and the Eiffel Tower. It's a bit weird looking, but they've got expos here, it's a library here. Nuts! That's what it is. And just in case you're wondering what the squeaks are, this guy's passionate about balloons. <laughs> Bonjour! In Britain, we call that the underground. It's their subway. See all the street art? What hasn't Paris got? It's got everything. Yeah, man. We get funky now. Now you can see why people fall in love with Paris. All I've got to say is Paris rocks. And if you get the chance to come to Paris, come and see this incredible city. It really is awesome. You're going to have an awesome time in this place. Paris really rocks. America. I'm confused now. Place, eh? Everyone's chilling, having a bit of fun. Yeah! And that's a wrap.